Maddox versus... Is it Jordix? I don't... I've never... I'm pretty sure I don't know who Jordix is. This is Drive. So far... So far, this BBU stuff's been... Nice and tasty. Let's see what this one gives us. Never know. Oh, I've also noticed way more professionally done videos. I guess competition. Shut your fucking mouth or I'll break it. <laughs> I already need to hear that again. Just like how many bass notes or whatever, man. It seems weird. Maybe it's not. I have to interrupt. I don't know if this is like in my head, but this actually reminds me of some shit from opera. It's called recitative, which is when people deliver dialogue, but they're singing, but it's not like a fixed way of singing. It's like rhythmical and musical, but it's not like a song. It feels like that's what this is. Like, he's clearly making music, but the structure does not seem defined like you would normally hear in anything that we've really encountered. You're dropping messages, the beads with no draft. I'll make you leave my premises, so please, bitch, don't cry. There you go. No job, make you bleed till you die. So it feels like they have a little more liberty with the vocal mixing. Cause I thought I heard that flanger shit on a nurse's video. And then this time, like it really sounded like for a second there were two tracks slightly off, off, off uh, out of sync. <laughs> Only the strong survive you strive for dies. No part of me has the chains against my bright eyes. What? What? <laughs> Your lyrics make no sense, bro. <laughs> okay, this must be a response to something earlier. Because these are these are definitely punchlines for a joke that I have not heard. But the... It, okay. And that's that. I don't know what that technique is where he's going like whatever that is uh but the fact that they are all equal is impressive as fuck like the actual rhythm of the oscillation was consistent hey you jocks let me try your shit Oh, okay. 
I didn't know. I thought I started at the beginning, but I guess it didn't. If that's what Jorix did, that also sounds fucking cool to me. That's... Ooh, that melody is good as fuck. Is that a video I missed? I want to hear that. That melody's... If he's re... If he's counterattacking that melody, that melody is fucking awesome. Whoever melody that is. Wherever that came from. That is, uh, if you've if you've seen my shit from the last couple of years, which you uh, probably about eighty percent of you have not. Um, that's not my style, but that is fucking really nice. It's it's doing what I was kind of complaining about maybe two years ago is that just because something's technical doesn't mean that it can't be musical at the same time. There's always a trade-off. There's always a trade-off between pure musicality and pure technicality. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't, like, drift a little bit. You just need a little more... Um, if you want to be extremely technical, you just need a different way of, of composing your compositions to allow you to be technical and still musical. You can't rely on old musical things this is hard to talk about without using any type of fancy terminology right there are obviously ways to build a house where rooms go one story two story three stories windows right driveways there's a there are tons of houses but if you want a very different house then it's going to be hard to use existing plans that are available for that house right most houses are built to be um cheap and inefficient, you know, to make profit for a builder. They're not designed to be works of art. So in music, if you're trying to do something that is extremely technical, especially if you're the person who is the technician, then your, your actual compositional structure of the song itself is going to be different. And by the way, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this about like people like Beethoven and, and many, many others, but Beethoven's of course famous. Um, is that these guys wrote so much material for their primary instrument. So Beethoven's primary instrument was piano. So he wrote stuff to demonstrate what he was capable of doing, which forced him to break the mold. And, you know, guys like Chopin and Liszt and Paganini and all these guys, same thing. So as a beatboxer, if your technique is high level and unique to yourself, then it's going to force you to come up with a different compositional style in order to showcase what you can do because you're doing something that, theoretically, barely any other beatboxers can pull off. So, I thought this was very musical. I was going to try to um, have a complaint in here, but I'm not... Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's not edit it. Let's just see what happens. Just because someone's doing low bass notes doesn't mean you can't have some variety in there, right? This is going to be very stupid. This is going to be stupid, but let's make an idea, right? Let's take a bass note. Now, let's say we, we want to keep it bass. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. We want to keep it bass. We don't want to go up high. We don't want to go up there, right? We don't want to go that far. We don't, go that far. We don't have to go far. We can go... No more than a fifth up. So that's now. That's kind of high for bass. And I'd be playing lower if I was actually on my bass, right? But there's lots of stuff available even with just 
whatever that is, seven half steps. So let's just make up shit. I played anything faster than you could sing. I mean, I'm not a singer. We could try it. I don't know if I can match the notes. Just saying like take a little bit of variety in your bass lines even if you if you want your bass lines to be like really heavy you can still add a couple of chromatic notes it would add so much more than just drilling because when you if you if you hang on one note now the only elements you have are timbre and rhythm and you've robbed yourself of a whole other category, which is pitch. So I would, I would, that's, that would, that's my complaint on the very technical rhythm of guys who have, who have great bass sounds and really rely on bass and rhythm. Man, just add a little chromaticism. Or if you don't want to be chromatic, scalar. I mean, there's only, you only have two fucking options, sorry. You have three options. Chromaticism, half steps. Scales, formulas of notes that go together, and arpeggios, which are notes broken up one at a time. Everything that you can think of melodically is going to fall into one of those three categories. You're not going to use arpeggios. Arpeggios uh, make you move a certain distance. So if you want to stay in the bass range, you're going to end up not using arpeggios. That's going to leave you to chromaticism and scales. That's that's my thought on that. All these flavors and you choose to be salty. Salty, why are you so salty, baby?